Ah, right, good afternoon. So I'm out here with my uh, Umarex Tornado here, a revolver, and I was going to use some dust devils in this. Um, unfortunately, the dust devils uh, fall out of the magazine because uh, these are daisies, daisy BBs, um, which are zinc zinc plated and very good actually, very good quality. And uh, I measured them, they're 4.3 millimeters diameter, but the dust devils are 4.2. And I believe the actual copper coated ones that I tried the day are also uh, somewhere between 4.3, 4.2, so they fall out. So unfortunately, I, even though I wanted to try dust devils in this, um, to see if they could hit those tin cans at 15 and a half meters out there, um, we're going to have to stick with the daisies. So yeah, so this is a this is a bit of a tricky one actually because um, there's a little bit of a breeze occasionally, and I've got 10 cans set out uh, in a pyramid. I'll just zoom in for you so you can have a look. Uh, there we go, and they are 15 and a half meters out from where I'm standing, okay, or 16 meters from the, the wall, which is the back of the house. So I'm going to attempt to shoot them off with 10 BBs, uh, daisy BBs. Um, obviously, it's further out than the 11 and a half meters I, I used uh, used on the last uh, the last time I reviewed this. Uh, so I'm not sure whether I'll actually get any, but we'll give it a go. So what I'll do, I'll I'll zoom in and uh, I'll use 10 shots and see if I, can, if I can actually knock any of these down. But the, the plan is to knock them from top to bottom. So we'll just zoom it back in again. There we go, so you can see them all. I'm using uh, the fixed sights, um, reading glasses, single action as well. So here goes. I'm not even exactly sure where to aim, but I'm going to put the sights somewhere in the middle of the can and hopefully hit them. That's one, that's pretty good. We're gonna do the rest. Yes. Oh that's a miss. <coughs> Let's try again. Get my breathing right. It's only six degrees today as well, so the temperature's pretty cold. I'm trying to shoot this reasonably slowly, give the CO2 a bit of a chance to recover. Oh, I missed that one. Try again. Put that one, it's down. Yep. Yeah. I missed two, so I must be out. Just pull this one off just to check, but I don't think there's any left. I think that's all at all ten. Yep, yeah, and that is empty. So we'll zoom it back out. So there you have it. That is pretty accurate. That is 15 and a half meters out. Uh, like I said my breathing is pretty poor uh, as you know uh, but these are the daisy BBs. Uh, we are definitely we are definitely out as you can see. So yeah this is this is <laughs> this is surprisingly accurate for um, a smooth bore BB shooter. And uh, yeah, because I, I probably missed those two because um, my breathing was bad, and I was really struggling just to keep keep it. But if you these these sights seem almost well, they appear to be almost bang on. I mean, because I was basically using the, the foresight lined up with that, and I was just keeping it dead center. I didn't have to deviate left or right to hit the tin, tin cans. So uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. In fact, I might go and just bring a, a few cans up and just see exactly where those BBs hit. So give us a few seconds.
So these are the eight I've just shot at. Over. And let's have a look. So this one actually penetrated. So I was aiming sort of like lining the uh, the foresight and the rear sight with the foresight at the top, obviously as you should aim. And I was aiming sort of around centre and that went through the top and it actually went through. It didn't go right the way through, but it's gone through. So that's a, that, that sort of range as well. So I haven't actually um, put this uh, tornado through the crony yet. Um, that has again hit the top, very consistent. Um, this one actually hit a bit lower, but also central as well, which is really good. Um, I think this might be the one I winged, <laughs> which is because which, it's just got a scuff in it. Okay. Uh, next one, I think I clipped it at the bottom, so I must be moving around a bit. So I just clipped that one. But then again, that did go down. Uh, this, these were all fresh cans, by the way, so they haven't been ha uh, shot at before. That one also went through the middle as well, penetrated. Okay. Uh, this one actually hit right at the very top, and actually, I mean, it was so close to the rim that it actually dented it, but and it actually didn't actually puncture it. But it was very close. And the final one, I believe, is this one. Um, which I also hit at the bottom as well. So when you consider that's 15 and a half meters out with uh, these zinc coated, daisy zinc coated BBs. Uh, these were really hard to come by by the way. I, I, I actually eventually ordered them on off eBay because you can't buy, I, I couldn't find them in UK. Um, and these are 4,000 containers. I've actually ordered three. So I've got, I've probably got another uh, 10, uh, 9,000 left I think. So I'll keep me going for a while. But yeah, they're excellent BBs, you know, um, and obviously the Umrex ones. It's just a great shame that you can't use the Dust Devils because they just they just fall out the actual they fall out the magazine. They, they're just not big enough to grip. Um, you know, I, I don't know whether um, the the size of this hole could have been made slightly smaller. You know, like a 4.3, so they would have actually gripped. But unfortunately, they just fall out. As I found with the copper coated lead BBs, they were rolling out the barrel when I tried to shoot them. So. Not a massive issue, you know, uh, wearing safety glasses and I'm a fair way out. So yeah, 15 and a half meters and it was punching a hole in these. These are heavy duty soup cans, by the way. So that's that's pretty impressive, really. So I will actually get around to putting um, this pistol or revolver through the, uh, through the through my crony and I'm gonna do a full power spread from a new CO2 right the way through till the power drops off. Uh, using either the Daisies or the Umrex BBs and we'll see exactly how many shots you get before the power does drop off but I reckon this must be doing uh, at least two and a half to three foot pounds to actually puncture them at that sort of distance so that's that's a very impressive and accurate as well as you know I, I was saying you know really they want to put a rifle barrel in this I mean how much more accurate would it be if they put a rifle barrel in it so you can shoot lead pellets out of it because if you can do that, that with, with my eyes as well at 15 and a half meters, uh, yeah, it's a fantastic piece of kit for, well, for a half a hundred quid, shall we say, and a bit more. So I hope you like that little video. Thanks for watching. Ah, good afternoon. So I'm back with my tornado. Uh, we had a reasonably successful 15 and a half meter shoot freestanding. I've now got them set up run about 20 meters out now so the, about another four full paces so uh, probably won't hit anything but I'm gonna have a crack at it anyhow so I'll just zoom in and show you where they are so there they are all the way out there I'm gonna attempt to go from top to bottom and see if I can get any of them at all freestanding single action again with the daisies here it goes I shall zoom her in and uh, leave on the target so if I manage to hit anything, you'll see it go down. Uh, I can just about see the target, a bit blurred in my reading glasses. If I can see the, the sights, which is the main thing. Let's see how we, how we do. Oh, not too bad. I'm not sure we've actually got the top one or the one below it, but I've gone down. Uh, and it's, uh, it's six degrees, so it's cold. 
Um, this is the fifth magazine, so for a few, in fact, this is the seventh magazine, I believe. So, so I'm getting the next one. Yep, it's gone. Oh, I missed that one, pulled that one. Look at that. The light's fading as well, so I can just see the sights. Yep, got him. Get the bottom row. Yep. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, look at that. My breathing's not too good. Just want to see him get this last two. Nope. Uh, I think that might be yeah, out, might be the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Okay. Oh, turn the light. I've got one left in there. Right. So. That's pretty good, the, uh, that's 20, 20 metres out, long way out. 